Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. Six rounds of heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Bazooka's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Diesel's coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. Introducing first, from Zariac, Bazooka. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, Diesel. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Good double jab by Bazooka. Use the ring! Use the ring! Lock! Lock! Teddy, do you ever get the sense when you see a guy who has good defensive movement with his head that it can also become predictable to his opponent? Yeah, sometimes if you make that head movement from too far away, you can get time. You have to be close enough to draw the punch. Kind of like a batter in the batting box in baseball. You have to wait until the ball starts to break. If you start swinging too soon, you're going to miss that ball. You got to be close enough to get hit. And just before you get hit, then you move your head. Good accuracy with that uppercut. End of round one. Bazooka's grasp of real estate is something special. Look how he just stays on the outside early on in this fight and is able to find his target. Well, you're right, Joe. It's prime real estate for him. I mean, he's in the neighborhood he wants to be on the outside. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Big uppercut right on the mark. Halfway through this round. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Good work defensively by Diesel. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. That could set up things to come there, that jab by Bazooka. Up top with the right hand. Last 10 seconds. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Bazooka's doing exactly what we expected him to do. He laid out the game plan. I want to win it on the outside. The jab's been there all night. Yeah, well, that's where it starts if you want to win it on the outside. You know, you're not going to do it with your feet. This is not kickboxing. You know, you're going to do it with your jab, and that's exactly it's boxing 101. Control range, control distance, control the jab. Come on. Can't focus. There he is on the inside, doing well. Combo lands to the head. Bazooka's left, working well that time. Nice work with a double jab to the midsection. So round number four is underway, 
Bazooka's been looking very good early on. Teddy, you have him up three rounds to seven. I think that's the only way you can have it right now, although I've thought that before, and the judges see it a different way, but he's been aggressive, and he's been effective. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Diesel's hit to the head. Doubling up the jab by Bazooka. Bazooka's dominating the action so far tonight. These middle rounds are showing that his style of coming at you and trying to get you is working out. Yeah, it's worked out so far. We'll see whether or not his opponent makes an adjustment. He doesn't do well with guys that move. Flush with the combination upstairs. And round four comes to an end. Diesel's eye is shut. Teddy, what has to change for him now? Well, right now, he's got to hey, cover up that, that weakness. Go. You know, he's got to make adjustments for that, as you just touched on. Left he's got to move right, the other way. Right. You know, move in a way where he's not so vulnerable to that punch, to that side. Move your head! Bazooka's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Sword well upstairs with the right hand. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Good right hand. Diesel showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Doubles up the jab. A solid left hand by Bazooka. And round five comes to an end. Bazooka's just doing what he's been doing all night long. We've seen it throughout. He's been scoring well on the inside. He's been hitting those headshots. I don't know what the answer is on the other side, Teddy, but there's got to be something they can do different. Well, one thing is he has to notice that, yeah, he's staying on the outside, but he's pulling back straight every once in a while. So what you got to do is make believe you're an NFL quarterback. Everybody wanted to be an NFL quarterback, you know, where you lead the receiver. So what you do is you anticipate that he's going to go back and you aim a punch behind him. Let him walk right into that punch. Let him pull into that punch. Diesel's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. And a well-placed combination by Bazooka. Punch! Punch! Watch the hook! Good effective work with that straight right hand. Bazooka's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. That's a well-earned victory by Bazooka.